I just got this new external antenna in from T-Mobile. Now this is available for you to order online and it pairs with their new gateway here that has its own external antenna ports unlike their, their previous ones. Let me just show you what's in this box here. I've already opened it up as you can kind of tell, but let's just open it up and show you what is in there. Okay, so here is the antenna. Now it comes wrapped up with the cable around it. As you can tell, it does have a cable included with it. In fact, it's hardwired, so you can't you know, take this cable away. You could obviously add more cabling to it if you wanted to, or you could just use this SMA connector and get an extension, I think. All right, actually, I'll say the cable is probably more like six to seven feet of total length. And then, you know, it's definitely much smaller than the Waveform 4x4, by a large margin. Uh, that might be a great thing for you, though, if you're trying to put this inside and what this comes with. They call this a multi-mount. And that's because it can actually do three different mounting styles. One is a pole mount. So this is actually designed for a pole to go in there and then you put zip ties through these uh, rectangle holes here. Um, but what it comes with is suction cups. So these slide into these, um, these four holes on each side and that goes on the inside of a window, not outside your house by any means. But that said, I did some digging to try to figure out more about this antenna. And that's what I wanna show you because um, T-Mobile does not give you a whole lot of information with it actually. They give you a quick start guide. It basically just says uh, put the suction cups on, stick it on the window, and then go in here to your settings to enable external antenna and you're good. It doesn't give you any information about aiming or other details about this itself. So one interesting thing that I looked at was trying to figure out some more details of this device itself is who makes it, right? Because T-Mobile obviously doesn't make these antennas or these gateways for that matter. All right, now there is actually one more piece they do include in the box and that's this guy. I didn't know what it was at first, but I did read the instructions and it's actually a wrench. So you can go in here and slide onto your connectors here and tighten them. And that's because the way that this unit is made, these connectors are kind of hard to get to. And so this allows you to get to them from out here and you're clear of the actual housing itself. Now I put these 90 degree connectors on, so I actually don't have that problem. I can get to them out here, but um, you know, if you don't wanna buy those connectors, you can get this instead. So it has some lettering on the cabling here itself. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, but it's a uh, towel gloss, maybe is the name. And it says that it's low loss cable. So I did some searching on the actual brain and I did find out some informa information. So that's what I wanna show you here on my tablet is just what does this antenna make up and maybe how's it compare to something like the waveform one. 